Welcome home, name tags. You're gonna love it here. This is your world now, but it's also my home, so treat it with respect. That means you listen to me and do as I say, and most definitely do not piss on the toilet seat, or I will be forced to flush you away. I'll be your guide for the next few minutes, just to get you settled in. So come with me, and I'll give you the tour. Please keep your limbs and extremities inside the vehicle and remain seated at all times. For your safety, the seatbelt sign will remain on for the duration of the journey. Please do not leave your seat and walk around the cabin while the vehicle is moving. Please wait for the vehicle to come to a complete stop and for the seatbelt sign to be switched off before leaving your seat. In case of emergency, the exit is to your right or through the roof although your ragdoll corpse will most likely be thrown some distance from the vehicle. Your next of kin will be informed, if applicable. I'm afraid I have to give you all the safety talks there before we can get going. Rules and regulations. You know how it is. Bloody health and safety, it's ridiculous. You wouldn't believe the amount of paperwork I have to fill in just to take you out in this thing. I just hope we don't hit another landmine like last time. Jesus. What? Oh, uh, just put your seatbelt on. So this is my world. Probably looks a bit different to what you're used to. It's virtual. So they would have you believe. It's not real. It's completely computer generated. It's a 3D virtual environment. Seems pretty real to me, but then what do I know? According to all these books, I'm just as fake as this world. They reckon I'm a virtual character. <laughs> Feelings too, you know. Bastards. you're wondering what all this is about then. Ever heard of something called machinima? If you believe everything you read in books, machinima is the art of making animated films within a real-time virtual 3D environment. In layman's terms, machinima means making films out of video games. So according to all these books, that makes this world we're in a potential film set. And that means that people like you, me and anyone else in this world are actors, virtual actors. We're puppets. Puppets? I ain't no bloody puppet. Who are these people coming into my world and telling me it's not real and that I'm just a puppet? I hate Hollywood. They come here and walk around like they own the place, insult us, and tear apart our beaches to create these epic battlefields for their crappy art house movies. And why are they doing it? Because it's new. Some kind of new technique in filmmaking. It's mostly got a cult following at the moment on the interweb, but it won't be long before everyone's jumping on the machinima bandwagon. Big companies are already using it to market their brands. Mostly it's the hobbyists that use machinima to make films right now though. There's loads of films out there on the internet, although most of them suck because they're just made by fans of the game with no filmmaking knowledge whatsoever. But as these so-called virtual worlds or video games improve and look better and better, more people are showing an interest in machinima techniques. It's being used more professional ways, like marketing. You have to wonder how much longer it'll be before we see machinima films in the cinema next to Pixar productions. Now, well, maybe that'll be a while yet. This rise in popularity and interest in machinima, it's all good for the films and the people who make or watch them, but it's killing me, over and over. I've been shot, <laughs> pistol whipped, <laughs> blown up, run over, and fall into oblivion. More times than Paris Hilton has been downloaded from the internet. Quite honestly, it's given me a migraine. I might not mind so much if I was actually getting paid, but all of a sudden I find myself being controlled and doing all sorts of weird things. It's like an out-of-body experience. A bit like now. You'll feel it too. Soon. If you aren't already. But for the filmmakers, Machinima can offer many advantages over standard filmmaking techniques, especially in animation. Making Machinima films is like shooting an animated movie in real time. 
There's no need to draw every single frame of animation because the game engine well, pretty much does that. Although most films will still need editing in the usual sort of way. Machinima films can also be made by much smaller teams of people. Finding actors is not usually a big deal, and locations or sets are completely free and available to use at any time of the day or night, without any of the hazards or dangers of a normal location or film set. Well, not to the crew anyway. If anything, it's probably worse for us. They treat us like glorified stuntmen or something. I'm amazed I can still see straight. But for the filmmakers, machinima can be a fun and rewarding medium to work with. And it can be frustrating at times, and quite time consuming. So that's what all this is about really. Spreading the word. It's an attempt to bring machinima to the masses. Well, at least raise its profile anyway. It's about making a DVD that can be used in educational establishments, like colleges and universities, ones that teach media or film subjects. It's an attempt to inspire all these layabout students to produce films in more creative ways, like these machinima films that gamers have been making for the last 10 years. This is just a taster of what's possible, really. Machinima might be quite young, but you can still use it to make action films, music videos, advertising, or full-blown narrative feature films, given enough time and patience. Speaking of which, it's time I was out of here. Those flags ain't going to capture themselves, you know. Are you okay seeing yourself out? Just use that teleport over there. Oh, just make sure you don't... Bum, chicka, bum, bum. Bum, 